Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to talk about variables. Now all a variable is is a container for some kind of data. And we have a few data types that we're going to be using a lot in this introductory series. There are more, but we're probably not going to get to them. So we'll just talk about the basics. The first one is whole numbers, which we call integers. And in programming parlance, they are shortened to int, and you can see that turns green because it's a reserved word. So integers equal whole numbers. The next data type we have are called floats. Now what a float is, is a decimal point. Uh, following this we will have strings. And what a string is, is any kind of text uh, that we want to store, like the name of an object. And then finally we have lists, and we're not going to probably do a whole lot of lists right away, but we definitely will get to them later on, and it's basically just a collection of any uh, string, float, or int, and it is an ordered list. So basically you can refer to uh, the, the first item, or the tenth item, or whatever, and it'll be the same every time. So, let's look at declaring these in MelScript. So if I want to declare an int, I have to write int, and then the way MelScript is going to understand that you're talking about a variable is it's going to have a dollar sign at the front of the name. So we'll just call this my int. That name is arbitrary and can be anything. And then we will set it equal to 5. So that's a nice whole number, so that's kind of nice. The next thing we'll create will be a float. So we write float so that the MelScript knows that what we're creating is a float. And I'll just call it $myFloat. And we'll set it equal to 5.0. And we've got to put that semicolon on the end of it because it is MelScript. And then we have string. And we can call this myString. And MelScript, I think, is particular about winning the double quotes. Python doesn't care, and I tend to use single quotes for that. So, and then uh, for a list, uh, actually, so, so mel has a different, a different variable uh, It's called array, so we're not going to get into worrying about that too much because we're never going to use it. Um, we'll use list all the time, though. So, this is the, oh, and I need to add a little syntax there, or a, a semicolon. So this is how you would declare these variables in, in MelScript, and then from then on, once you had declared the variable, you no longer need to put the int in front of it, and in fact if you do you will get uh, an error. So I'll just go ahead and run this code, and it'll go ahead and print the value of my int up here. Whenever you use print, it's going to basically print the value that you're asking for here. So here my int is 5. If I change this to my float, run it again. Uh, it truncated that, but if I if I give this some value, see now we've got the value, and then if I ask it to print my string, there we go, we get cat. So you may have noticed that the first letter of the second word in all of these is capitalized. That is a, um, a thing called camel case, and it's very common, and it just makes this easier to read uh, as you, uh, you know, encounter it in code. The first word will be lowercase, and then each additional new word, the first letter will be capitalized. So again, that's called camel case. Highly recommended. So let's take a look at this in Python. So we'll go ahead and clear the history there. So in Python, we do not need to give it a data type. We can just say what the name of the variable is, and then what its value is. So when I do this, oh, you know what, uh, I may need to do my little include here. So include maya.cmds as mc. Uh, okay, so there's my int, and uh, we can do a float. So we'll call this my float equals 5.0, and then my string equals cat. And here you can see I'm using my my single quotes there. And then to make a list, so this would be an empty list, we'll just give it the open and close square brackets. So, 
pretty similar, but uh, uh, we do not need to do the data typing. It happens automatically. So when I run this code, it's going to see that this is a whole number, and it's going to decide that my int data type is an integer. Same with float 5.0 and my string. So one of the implications of this is once you call something an integer, you need to remember that it's an int. So for instance, if I come over here, I'll go ahead and run this code. Oops, got a little problem here somewhere. Ha. So this is not include, it's supposed to be import. Sorry about that. There we go, it turns green, everybody's happy. So we can run this code. So now I have my int and it is a whole number. So if I say, uh, let's go ahead and we'll create a uh, new int and set it equal to my int divided by two. So my int is five and actually I'll just call this new number uh, because 5 divided by 2 should be 2.5 and then we'll go ahead and print new number so what you can see is even though the actual result of 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 what we get is 2 because I am telling it that it needs to be uh, that, that my int so if you divide an integer by 2, it's going to basically just get the, the whole number component of that, regardless of what the value is. So with, normally you would see 2.5, uh, it would round up, but in this case it just chops the decimal point off completely. So something to be aware of. So let's just carry this on. Let's try adding two strings together. So I will make another string and I will call this dog. Now I can add my string to another string and we'll just go ahead and put this inside a print statement and we can see that we get cat dog. So put that together with absolutely no problem at all. So if I do the same thing, so we're going to go ahead and add my string plus, whoops, and now we're going to add the my int in there. And then actually we can just do this because this will cause the trouble that I'm looking to re uh, replicate here for you. So if I run this, I'm going to get an error. And what this error is saying is it cannot concatenate a string and an int. So if you want to add two strings together, no problem, but if you try to add a string with a uh, another data type, it's going to give you a problem. So the simple solution here is you've got to convert my int into a string. So there's a very simple way to do that, and that is you just write str, and then you put whatever the variable is that you want to convert into a string into little parentheses. So now when I run the code, I get cat5. So uh, this is just a very brief introduction to variables. We're going to be using these things all the time. So it's a good idea to, to do your very best to try to remember this, but uh, you're going to see a bunch of examples. So it's not 100% clear, uh, it will be soon enough.